My name is Pastor Philip Dacre and I'm here from Bradford Miracle Centre. And I'm here to tell you that those of you who seek the baptism of the Holy Spirit, I'd like to pray for you today. First of all, I'd like to tell you that the baptism of the Holy Spirit is for all believers, all of you who've received Jesus. It is empowering by the Holy Spirit so that you can have power to minister the Spirit of God to others. Not just the power, but also the words of God. But the Bible tells us in Acts chapter 8 that Jesus Christ said, Wait until you've got the baptism of power from upon the high. And this came on the day of Pentecost in Acts chapter 2 and verse 4 tells us that they all spoke in tongues and prophesied. It tells us this again in the book of Acts chapter 8 and verse and chapter 19. These three times, every single person in that place spoke in other tongues. Matthew, Mark chapter 16, verse 18, tells us that Jesus said, When the Spirit comes, you will cast out demons, you will speak in new tongues, and you will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. So these signs are evidences of the Holy Spirit. Now the main evidence that we show is the speaking in other tongues. Now the difference between the evidence of speaking in tongues and the gift of speaking in tongues is quite uh, uh, self-explanatory really. Gifts are something that comes through us to others. In other words, when we prophesy, we prophesy over someone else, not ourselves. That's a gift from God through us to others. Same with speaking in tongues. We can speak in tongues and interpret from God through us to others. But the speaking in tongues that 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 2 tells us about is a speaking to God, not from God to others, but speaking from the Holy Spirit within us to God the Father in heaven. And it says only God understands it, not even ourselves understand it. We speak in a language that comes from the spirit man and not from our head man. We don't understand this language. Now we can pray for the interpretation of the speaking in tongues and God can give it to us. But it is totally supernatural and it is not natural at all. It's not learned by the brain and it's not remembered by the brain. I want to give you a a, a sample of this. Listen to me carefully while I speak in other tongues to the Father. That is a language I have no idea what it means. No idea at all, and I have not learnt it. It just comes out of my spirit, man. This is totally supernatural. The baptism of the Holy Spirit is totally supernatural, and it brings power into your life. It gives you more authority. The name of Jesus already gives you authority over demons, but this one gives you more authority to change things, to move mountains, to have things obey you, to supernatural things to happen in the room or outside or in other people's lives because you tell it to happen. The gift of special faith, the working of miracles, the uh, gifts of healings, the gift of prophecy, all these things start to flow through us when we have the baptism of the Spirit, but not before. You may have a little spurts every now and again, but little drips, but not a flow. Jesus said in John chapter 7 verse 28, you will have rivers of living waters flowing out of your innermost being. Rivers of living waters, waters bringing life. And that's what we're after. In my church life, where I have started churches uh, around the world, um, I have never got people saved without getting them baptized in the Holy Spirit. Everybody that I brought to Jesus, I filled them with the Holy Spirit, uh, made sure that they were filled with the Holy Spirit straight away and speaking in tongues immediately. Because every believer needs this empowerment in order to do the will of God, and bring about supernatural things on this earth which confirm the presence of the Anointed One. The Anointed One is Jesus Christ. He had the Spirit without measure, 
and he was full of the Spirit, doing signs and wonders by the thousands, and daily doing so many that John said, even if I had all the books in the world, I couldn't write everything that he did in three and a half years. So to, without any more ado, I've given you the basis of the Holy Spirit baptism from the Word of God, the Bible. Now let's do it. I want you to join with me and flow with me. I want you to relax, be at peace. I want you to put your hand on that computer and I want you to be one with my spirit. Let me say this to you very, very carefully. The Holy Spirit is a total gentleman. He will never go where he's not wanted and he will never allow something bad to happen to you when you're reaching up to get him. Jesus told us this in Luke chapter 9, verse, uh, Luke chapter 11, verse 9 to 13. If you ask, God won't give you something evil. He won't allow something evil to happen to you. So relax. Don't be afraid. Yield to the Spirit now. Yield and let him come upon you. Put your hand upon the computer, and I will too. And let us just flow together. Now, don't speak in your home language or any known language. I want you to speak as you are moved upon by the Spirit now. Let the Spirit move through you. Feel the stirring of Him inside you. Don't imitate me, but reach out for your own words from your innermost being. Some people get it straight away. Others take longer. Don't give up. Practice, yield, submit. And speak with your mouth. He's not going to make you speak. It's your mouth. He gives you the utterance. Start to speak without your mind being involved. I can feel the Holy Spirit anointing upon my head right now. And I know that he's moving through me to some people out there. You may be completely new to this thing. Don't be afraid. Relax. Relax. Don't be afraid. Rest in God. He's not going to hurt you. And you're not going to have something happen badly to you. But yielding control is always a little bit uh, uh, fearful. Because you may not have ever done this before. Yielding control to the Holy Spirit. As you yield and relax and let your mouth speak, don't speak words that you know. Try and yield to the urge inside you to speak words that you don't know. Words that come from heaven, not from earth. Words that come from God, and not from man. Try and speak these words. As you yield more, They'll begin to come, I'm telling you, and even after this video clip, just kneel down and just yield to God. Just yield and submit. We want your power, Holy Spirit. Use us. Use us. We want to be your servants, Lord God. Empowered by your Spirit. Enabled by the word of Jesus Christ. That's the supernatural language. This is not known, not learned, and not from my brain, but from my spirit being. From the innermost parts of my being. Where God dwells, the Holy Spirit moving upon you now. I can feel him moving on you. I can feel him just yield. Just yield. Don't be afraid. Even if it's just one word, two words, doesn't matter. Just let it come. Some people sing in tongues straight away. Some people shout in tongues straight away. Some people speak in tongues straight away. Some people take longer. I took longer. Don't be ashamed. But keep going. Keep yielding from inside from the place where you dream dreams, the unconscious mind or what we call the human spirit. This is the place where God empowers you. Be blessed and get what is yours. God bless you.